Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Ninja. I, I've been gone for a really long time. I'm sorry about that. I've just been busy and, um, can you see this? I got braces. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to be teaching you about some tricks and some info about having braces. Um, I haven't had them for the longest of time. I've had them since Monday and what day is it? Friday. So yeah, I've had them since then. And I've had some experience. The first two days of having, or the first three days of having braces were very painful. You want to go? I can tell you, those are probably some of the worst days I've had in a while. Just because of how much pain I was going through. Also, I've, I had to get rubber, rubber bands on each side of my mouth. Around here. Yeah. And if you have those, yeah, keep them on. They may hurt and be annoying all day, but seriously, uh, I, lear I learned that if you don't wear them every day and night, you're, you'll, probably, you'll have to get around six months more of having the braces, as annoying they are right now. I don't know how long you've had them already, or if you have them yet, maybe you're just looking up videos for info. Well, yeah. The first two to three days of having them, very painful. Yeah, six months more of having the braces if you don't wear the rubber bands. If you have rubber bands. Um, also, flossing is a bit harder than regular flossing without braces. Thought I heard something. It's a bit harder than having regular uh, flossing because your braces are in the way and you have to like take that little loop thing, pull it through, and then... Do the normal stuff, or however you do it. Um, that's pretty difficult. Also, at least for me, I don't know for you, but my teeth are coming together because there were a part in one of my teeth. Instead of growing side all like this with all the other teeth, one of them grew like this. So that's going to have to twist around and then go back together. That's how my teeth are. Um... Yours, I don't know, but it's harder for me to uh, floss my teeth because of that. Um, yeah. Very, like, all I got to eat for the first three days of having that, my mom got ice cream because, oh, if you have them, suggest your parents, uh, ice cream or buy it yourself. I don't know. But ice cream's really good for your teeth. It doesn't hurt at all. It's soft, it tastes good, obviously, but stuff like that, yogurt, um, just stuff like that, it's good for you, and it, uh, it's good for your braces the first three days because it hurts. It's gonna hurt. Brushing your teeth is pretty much exactly the same to however you brush your teeth. Just when you're brushing your teeth, you gotta put your toothbrush in different positions. Let me show you. Welcome to my bathroom. Um, this is my toothbrush right here. You just, it's exactly the same. You should get your toothbrush in different positions and try to get as much as you can all around it. And that's. That's how you brush your teeth with braces. Now how to floss your teeth, you're asking. So what you do is you take this little thing, it is a loop, kind of like when you sew, you wrap, you wrap the string around it, and then you, you put it in between one of your teeth, Then that's one tooth. You do that over and over again for every single tooth. And then that's those teeth. 
If you want a closer look up, what you do is you put it in between your braces, not between the tooth, but it's hooked onto your braces like that. You push it up between your teeth. And then you just do it like any other person would. Hey, now wax. Wax is a bit harder than, actually it's probably the easiest. I've been using it for a while now. Uh, they're not too hard. You take packs like these, you open it up, and there's the wax, I've been using them. First you feel, usually they're back here, the sharp parts if you do have some. Take about that much, kind of curl it a bit, and then just squeeze it up against the sharp part. There you go. It'll stay in there. If you leave it alone long enough, it'll just settle there. Um, eating with them, if you you're, you might like accidentally pull it out with your tongue because it doesn't feel much different from other foods. Um, if you accidentally swallow it, um, don't feel weird about yourself. Uh, plenty of people have done it. Just eating food with the wax on, forgetting that there's wax, so they eat it. Nothing's gonna happen to you, it's completely fine. But yeah, that's how you do wax. You just do it anywhere in your mouth, wherever you need it. Take the wax. Okay, now rubber bands are probably gonna be the easiest thing to do. But like I was saying earlier, they're not gonna feel good. She, the orthodontist probably taught you how to put them on. You just put them onto the little hooks, whatever, whichever ones you want to do. And that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video in any way or helped you in any way. Um, if you want more or have any questions, I can answer them for you. Don't be shy to ask any questions. Um, there are other videos that you can watch if this didn't help you. But I hope you guys enjoyed and watched the video to the very end. And by the way, once I get to 30 subscribers, I'm going to do whatever you guys want me to do. Um, once I get to 30 subscribers, though. So about three more subscribers and I will do something. Go ahead and comment down below what you want me to do. And yeah, bye.